lecture, I think, shouldn't be uh, that long because actually we have almost uh, finished actually from the slides. Okay, uh, just a bit more, uh, a few concepts to discuss on the economy of scale. Okay, but before that, you can just let uh, us recap what we have learned before, okay, especially on the important uh, concept. So in chapter six, okay, so we learn about the concept of profit, okay, and then uh, the difference between accounting and economic profit, whereby in economic profit, we also take into account implicit cost, usually uh, the opportunity cost. Okay, and then we also look at the production function, and we and in this part we learn on the concept of marginal product and also the law of diminishing uh, MPN, okay? uh, the law of uh, diminishing marginal product. Okay, so why does it, why does this uh, occur or happen? Okay, so the reason is when you increase input, uh, variable input like labor on a fixed input like land. Okay, eventually the additional output that you produce, okay, that the firm produce will uh, tend to decline. So that is uh, on the MPL. And then we look at the concept of cost. So in economics, we have uh, two, okay, fixed cost and variable cost, okay. Uh, especially in the short run period, okay, you have two elements, uh, fixed cost and also uh, variable cost, okay. And then the fixed cost plus variable cost, you will get uh, the total cost, okay, FC plus VC. Okay, and also we you also look at the concept of marginal cost, okay, which is the opposite of marginal product. Okay, marginal product cost is the increase in cost when you increase output. So uh, the formula is simply by taking the difference of uh, total cost divided by the difference in output. Okay, for every increase in your output. So this is uh, the simple example that we use to calculate. Okay, and then we also look at the, the typical shape of marginal cost. As I explained before, it should be a downward, uh, like a U shape. Okay, it will decline first. Okay, and then it will start to go up. Okay, and then we also look at the relationship between the three costs. Okay, marginal cost, uh, fixed cost, and also uh, variable, uh, average, average variable cost, average fixed cost. Okay, this one. Okay, whereby in the last uh, last lecture, okay, I mentioned that uh, the relationship between marginal cost, okay, uh, average cost, uh, and and also average variable cost. Okay, so usually we focus on these three. Okay, uh, so the point of intersection, okay, where MC cuts AC and also MC cuts average variable cost, both of these will be the minimum point. Uh, of these two curves, okay, and we also look at uh, the final part of this, which is the relationship between marginal cost and average uh, cost or average total cost. So when MC is below EC, okay, this part here, okay, it shows that EC is declining, okay, and then when MC is above EC, okay, this part it shows that average cost is increasing. Okay, and the two curve will intersect at the minimum point of uh, average cost. Okay, and also in the beginning of the slide, okay, we also uh, mentioned about the concept of economics of scale. Okay, of course, there is no slide uh, or points covered in this uh, PowerPoint slide here. Okay, but uh, you can search on the internet what is economy of scale. So I will just explain briefly on this concept. So the word scale means uh, producing in a large quantity. Okay. So for example, if you go to Tesco, uh, the big the big supermarket, okay, compared to a smaller grocery store or supermarket, okay, you will notice that usually the price of this uh, macro supermarket is cheaper. Okay, because they can achieve economies of scale. Okay, whereby the increase in the uh, output, okay, will lead to a lower cost of production. Okay, the more they produce, uh, the cost will actually decline. Okay, so that is basically the idea of economies of scale. Okay, uh, this part here, short run versus long run. Okay, so uh, again, there is no uh, slides in, in this version that mention on short run versus long run. Okay, but uh, again, you can find out more on this. So what I want to highlight uh, 
dekat short run versus long run ya yeah. okey in the short run uh, you will you, in the short run period okay uh, usually or in 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 the context of short run uh, firm will have two type of cost the variable cost and also the fixed cost meaning uh, because it is a short run period short run means a period usually less than one year okay or it, i mean usually people refer to it as less than one year okay so when when we call short run period or uh, so for for a company they will face two type of cost variable cost which usually refer to labor or wages okay the wages of employees okay so that will be the variable cost and fixed cost as we discussed fixed cost is cost that does not change according to the output okay whether you produce zero or you produce 1000 unit the fixed cost remain the same okay so why is it called fixed because uh, the cost does not change okay according to the output level and the word fixed is only uh, applicable okay or is only relevant in the short run period because in the short run uh, the company or the firm cannot increase the size of the factory cannot increase the size of the shop okay the land size whatever that require more time to to uh, to increase the production okay but in the long run meaning when the firm is given more time okay so in the long run all costs will be variable cost okay so there is no fixed cost in the long run why there is no fixed cost because in the long run every cost become variable even the the, the cost of your rental okay the cost of your building your loan okay because in the long run we assume that company has more time okay to start to increase the the size of the business okay they have more time to because if you want to build a house or a build a factory it takes time okay sometimes it takes like three to five years okay before the, the building can actually be uh, operational so that is what we call long run period okay compared to a short run okay if uh, not much that a company can do in a short run but besides using whatever uh, machines available okay but if the company wants to buy new machines new factory building it will take a longer time so that's why in the long run uh, we only consider so all costs in the long run will be variable cost okay there is no fixed cost in the long run because the fixed cost that you see in a short run in the long run it also uh, be considered as variable cost okay so that uh, so that is the main difference between uh, short run versus long run so in the long run there is no fixed cost only variable so all costs become variable cost okay so but in the short run there is uh, at least okay one fixed cost okay at least one fixed cost for example the cost of your rental the sewaan bangunan the cost of your loan okay so at least one of the cost will be fixed okay the rest can be variable a variable cost as we discussed before will be usually focused on the wages of the workers okay the, the cost of input materials also part of variable cost okay so i think we have pretty much covered the important uh, components or items to be discussed in chapter number six okay so uh, of course if you if you are an economic uh, student then you will learn this part in, in more detail okay but for principle of economics level we only cover this concept only on the surface as long as you understand what is the difference between uh, the concept of diminishing marginal product okay diminishing marginal cost so these are the terms that you will normally see in in your test in your quizzes okay so uh, okay you can find out more in the uh, whether in the internet you can google for these terms so that you can get better understanding okay so uh, for the rest of the uh, discussion okay so we have maybe maybe we can finish our class earlier today okay uh, early today so that we uh, i think in the past year question uh, for for this set okay we only have i think around four to five questions okay related to topic number six so the first one will be question number 33 okay economic profit is the difference between revenue and what Okay, so we already discussed this one uh, last Monday, and also I mentioned this part also uh, today. So, what would be the answer for question
Okay, I think for this question is pretty straightforward. Okay, uh, the difference between the word economic profit means okay there are two type of profit: economic and also accounting profit. Okay, accounting we only consider explicit cost. Okay, but for economic we consider both explicit and also uh, implicit, which is the opportunity cost. Okay, so the answer should be D lah, as you all choose. Okay, question thirty four. Which statement is wrong? Okay, I see some of you chose A, some of you chose C. Okay, which statement is wrong? Okay, there are no fixed costs in the long run. So I just mentioned just now. Okay, in the long run, firm only has variable cost. Okay, so this statement is correct, meaning there is no fixed cost in the long run. Fixed cost only exist in the short run period. Okay, B is correct. TC is equal to FC plus VC. Okay, uh, D. Fixed cost is cost that does not change as output, which is correct. Okay, so the one which is wrong is C. Okay, uh, in the short run, all inputs are fixed input. We know that in the short run, there will be variable cost and also fixed cost. Okay, so uh, of course this is in terms of input. Okay, but uh, to get cost, you must have input. Lah. So if you say uh, in the short run there is fixed cost and variable cost. So meaning that in the short run there are fixed input and also variable input. Okay, to say that all in the short run all inputs are fixed is also is not correct. Huh? Okay, so the answer is C. Okay, D uh, thirty five. Okay, so question 35, if labor is a variable input, okay, which is true, lah, okay, because in the in the production, labor is, okay, uh, is what wages is variable cost, so labor will be the input, the variable input. The law of diminishing marginal return. So again, first you need to understand what is the law of diminishing marginal return. Okay, so, uh, so it, it refers to the increase in out, the marginal increase in I mean the marginal increase in the output when you increase your variable input. Okay, so uh, okay, so a total product is negative, so this is not because diminishing marginal return refers to marginal concept. So it should be uh, either B or C. It cannot be A or D because A or N and D is about total product. Okay, but if you want to investigate. Uh, to, to, to determine uh, when does marginal, marginal return uh, diminish, you need to look at the marginal product, okay? So either B or C, so marginal product is constant, which is incorrect, lah, okay? It should be decreasing after a certain point. So usually we expect that uh, it will increase, then it will decline, okay? So when it declines, this part where it declines is where is what we call diminishing marginal return okay it increases first and then it goes down so the answer will be b okay so the last question question 36 okay so this is the concept which i mentioned just now the economy of scale okay so
Okay, so the word economy of scale, okay, the example I used just now, Tesco, the big supermarket, okay, they increase output, so eventually will lead to a lower uh, cost of production. Or average cost will decline, okay, or cost per unit will decline. So input are increased by some percentage, output will increase by, it should be by greater, lah, meaning that you get it, the higher uh, output will increase more when you increase uh, the input, Let's say by 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 hundred percent, output is expected to increase by more than one hundred percent, meaning by bigger percentage than the increase in input. So it will be by greater, and then causing output uh, the cost to decline or to fall. Uh. Okay, so it should be A. Okay, so for other questions on this, okay, you can refer to the test bank which I sent to you before, or you can uh, refer to past questions from the library website. Okay, on principle economics, okay, you can do this exercise. Okay, so um, again, practice uh, a lot. Okay, we, uh, and then inshallah uh, for the upcoming second test that will cover okay, this topic as well will be part of your test number two. Okay, so um, okay, I think that's it for today. Okay, if we can finish early, then we uh, finish earlier. Okay. Uh, so if you have any uh, question, you can ask now. Okay, if not, then uh, I'll see you each other on next Monday, where we start uh, on a new topic, topic number seven. Okay, on uh, on different types of market. Okay, so uh, okay, thank you. Assalamualaikum and uh, good afternoon.